AITA for not paying my boyfriend back after he didn't get me the right birthday cake? I definitely have a bit of a complex about this kind of stuff because of how I grew up. Always with my siblings getting what they asked for while I almost never did. And generally feeling like I never get my turn at things. So it will be helpful to know if I'm justified or overreacting. My BF and I have been dating for 10 months and it was my birthday yesterday. I put a lot of effort into birthdays, including his and was pretty excited about it for the last month or so. There is a local bakery that makes a really good-looking pineapple upside-down cake. I have been really wanting to try it and have been saving it for my birthday. About a month in advance, I told him my birthday was coming up and gave him a few activity ideas, and told him that I didn't need a gift but I really wanted a pineapple upside-down cake from XYZ Bakery. He said, sure. Now, I know this was probably annoying, but I did mention this specific cake several times, even before last month. Like we would drive by the bakery and I'd say something like, oh hey that's the place with the pineapple cake. I wanna do that for my birthday. I wasn't deliberately hammering the point home or anything, or aware that it was gonna end in a cake-centered conflict. But there were a couple occasions where it came up. And then a week before my birthday I did text him a reminder about the cake so that he would have the bakery info on hand. Yesterday rolls around and my boyfriend comes over to my apartment and gives me a gift. Which is a Kindle. Not a bad gift and I know they are expensive. But not something particularly relevant to me either. Then he says let's have cake and presents what you all know by now is not the pineapple upside down cake, but just a regular grocery store cake with the frosting balloons. Vanilla cake with vanilla buttercream. You guys, I was legitimately sad. If I knew he was gonna drop the ball on this, I would have just gotten myself a pineapple cake months ago instead of waiting. I was on the verge of tears because of not getting the one thing I actually wanted which was that stupid cake. So I told him I was very disappointed and that he should just go home. He had two tickets to a comedy show for that night and one ended up going to waste. Now he's annoyed because it is of course, just a cake, and wants me to reimburse the cost of the wasted ticket. It was only about $30. But I'm bristling at the principle of it and said I didn't owe him the money. He sent me a Venmo request for $30. AITA if I don't pay? NTA you specifically asked for this one thing and he didn't deliver. Emo birthday gifts aren't as much about the item as they are a demonstration of your listening and seeing that person. NTA. You didn't hint. You flat out told him what you wanted. And he ignored it. Not saying leave him. But that screams minimal effort. Talk to him about it. And he can eat that $30. NTA. You were so specific. You're allowed to be upset when someone disappoints you. All the people who are saying esh because you got so upset about a cake don't realize that it's not. About the cake. It's about him not listening to you or not caring about making your birthday what you wanted. It's your birthday. You shouldn't have to put on a happy face and go to a comedy show to appease the feelings of the person who hurt your feelings. And you definitely shouldn't have to reimburse him for the tickets when it was his fault you were too upset to go. Guys. Girls are so confusing. Why can't they just say what they're thinking? We're not mind readers. Girls. I'd love a pineapple upside down cake for my birthday. Literally just the cake would make me so happy. I'm saving the opportunity to try it for my birthday. Please get me that specific cake that I want for my birthday. Guys. Gets girl anything but the cake. Girl. Cries out of frustration. Guy. I think you need to calm down. I don't understand why you're upset. This entire post pains me. You are NTA. NTA you specifically told him you wanted the cake from that bakery. 
Did you need to tattoo it on his hand so he'd remember? I am not sure if he needs better listening skills or if he is disrespectful. But if y'all want to stay together, he needs to take a much more active role in your conversations. Just as an example, back when my son was 15, he didn't have a job or a lot of money. But he was a thoughtful kid. So he asked one of the guys I worked with if he could make 10 bucks doing something to help him out. My coworker was willing to give the kid 10 bucks. So they did the task and my son got paid. A few weeks later, on Mother's Day, he surprised me with my favorite chocolates and a card. That was why he wanted to earn the money. I had only told him one time what my favorite chocolate was. Single mom. Sore tight budget. And had not had any in quite a while. I know for a fact that he treats his girlfriend the same way. That is how a boyfriend, partner should act when it comes to things that you mention. Several times. Honestly. It seems like the boys who have burn raised by single mothers are a lot more intuitive and empathetic than ones who grow up in the good old, nuclear family, environment. That is simply my personal observation. There are probably plenty of examples of horrible people raised by a single mom. I am really sorry you were so disappointed on your birthday. But, now you don't need an excuse. Go buy that cake and share with nobody. Well, unless you want to of course. You can totally have a very merry on birthday, all by yourself. NTA. Forget all the cake stuff. The ah opportunity was the comedy show in question. Presumably. This was also a gift to you as it was an event for your birthday. If you don't want to go cause he messed up your cake. Or because you're not in a funny mood. Or because you'd rather do something else you can. In my view. When someone gifts tickets to an event. The gift is the choice to go for free. Not the obligation to attend. Unless his middle name is Ticketmaster. I wouldn't expect to be hit with an erroneous, I feel disappointed on my not birthday, fee on that ticket. Stub. NTA and the bar for men is on the floor. How hard is it to buy a pineapple cake? First off. Happy birthday to you. I had similar experiences growing up. I would tell my family exactly what I wanted every year. And I'd be careful to pick something not expensive and available. Only to get some random gift that I wouldn't enjoy at all. And if I ever said anything I was called ungrateful or just met with a shrug. My mom once gave me something and said. I know it's ugly. But I got it for you anyway, as I was undoing the wrapping. It messes with your head after a while. It makes you scared to even like or hope for anything because it leads to disappointment. And when it happens again it can be hard not to spiral. I'm really really sorry you didn't get your cake. You deserve to get the cake you asked for. I'm sorry your boyfriend did not put more thought into your gift and got you something you won't use. And I'm sorry that he acted that way after you became upset. NTA. Happy birthday again. Kinda wild how many people clearly didn't read the post and insist on pushing this narrative that op was hinting at the cake and just wasn't clear enough with what she wanted. I literally don't care what you think you know about your partner's bra. Don't get something unrelated when they ask for something specific. And even if you truly think you know better and believe they'd like something different get both. This is not about the $30 sweetie. This is about his ability to pay attention and retain information that is important to you. Last year, for Mother's Day, told Hobbs all I wanted was this very specific ice cream cake and a card. Day rolls around. There's a card. Where's my cake? My birthday is three months after that. What do I want? A card and an ice cream cake. Day of. Pretty card. No cake. Yes. I sat down at my computer. Refused to speak to him and cried all day. There was literally no possible way to save the day. Two weeks later. He finally got the cake. But I'm not kidding that by then. It could have been made of platinum and diamonds and I wouldn't have been excited. 
so nta do not pay his insensitive ass a dime if he pushes for money still you may want to consider if this lump on a log is worth your time and effort for my birthday all i wanted to do was go to this cute little cafe that had amazing baklavas and other turkish style snacks and just have a nice time talked about it for months my birthday rolls around and my boyfriend now husband checks their social media the night before the cafe is having a family emergency and will be closed for two weeks i was so upset and bummed that my day was ruined this man woke up at 6 a.m to go to the grocery store and buy all the supplies to make a baklava and some other treats for me and present a beautiful spread i asked for a new coffee maker for christmas and he got the coffee maker and a nice milk frother and bean grinder to go with it with some syrups and fancy coffee beans they're out there you're so nta nta i'm sick of boyfriends husbands getting a pass on bs like this you clearly told him what you wanted and then he didn't even get the cake you asked for one thing and he couldn't even do that right nta but this relationship is probably dead if he won't listen to you about this what about bigger issues down the line nta why are you dating a guy who doesn't listen to you does he make you happy in other ways and 30 dollars is a small price to pay for what you now know about him nta you asked for something very inexpensive compared to the gifts he got you and you made it very clear that you wanted this specific thing he disregarded everything you said and has the audacity to ask you to reimburse him like you're a department store nta i'd ended over something like this he even got himself a present for your b-day nta you asked for one small thing, and he decided he knew better. NTA. I know all too well how it feels when you've practically put a neon sign in front of them and they ignore it. It sucks and I'm sorry. Him asking for reimbursement is pretty tacky. Ugh. Hopefully this has nothing to do with your relationship. But this is the kind of thing my ex-husband used to do to reinforce the rule that it wasn't my place to put any expectations on him. You had a very simple request and he should have cared a little about making you happy. Demanding payment seems like he wants to punish you for wanting better for yourself. Red flag. NTA. TBH I'm more upset with BFS reaction than anything. He made no effort to comfort her. Went to the comedy show alone and demanded she pay him back he's tough for sure if you enjoyed this video please check out our playlists full of similar content epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears please like share and subscribe